okay let's start in the previous lesson we have discussed about the fisheries and we discussed about the over uh, fishing also and we, the impact of overfishing also overfishing mean that you are taking out more fish from the sea or from river but you are not replacing them with the new ones for example if i give an example of the plants for example you like in canada every year they cut lot of trees they cut trees for use but at the same time they plant more trees so if they are doing like this so number of the plants will not decrease because whatever they are cutting so they are planting them in the same way if you are doing the fishing and in that fishing you are for example you are taking out fish from the sea and you are not putting the new ones or in the form where you are doing the fish form so you are not make the can say forming the new ones so the number of fish will decrease so that is known as overfishing okay now we will see that the different types of nets nets which are used for the fish and maybe you also used these type of nets during that uh, whenever you have a fishing if anyone has the hobby of fishing so there are different types of nets we will see them number 1 trawl trawl net now if you see the trawl net it's like this here you can see the diagram in other words if i want to make it i can make it like this from here it is big then it's like this from here it this path is closed fish come from this side and stuck here inside this one and from it it is pulled by the you can say ropes and you can take it out from the sea so this type of net is known as trawl net you can see here the examples now if you see the diagram here this is the trawl net this one these fish they come here some of already inside and they stuck here and after that you will take it out and uh, in it will go inside the ship and you will get the fish now in real how it look like see this one it's look like this you can find that the thousands of the fish are here inside it okay so this is the one of the type of the net which is used for fishing that is known as trawl net okay now if you see it if you see the structure of this trawl net so it is quite simple but in the same way when you are pulling it when you are pulling it by these ropes so it will attach it will disturb the sea bed it will disturb the sea bed there are a chances that it will disturb the sea bed and maybe there is small rocks here small plants here they are disturbed by this one and maybe they are pulled out if there are plants maybe due to this one pulled out if there is a rock maybe they are pulled out in this case i i told you that even the sea bed sea bed is a habitat for lot of organisms so one of the disadvantage using the trawl net is that it disturb the sea bed and that sea bed can be a habitat for different organisms so that is the main you can say disadvantage of this one we will see here and other thing that for example you want to catch this type of fish let's suppose this is your target got it but in this you cannot identify 
all types of fish will come inside even which you targeting or which you want or which you don't want all are gathered in this pond here so these are two disadvantages of using this type of net see here we will see now what they have explained here catch all type of unwanted species not only the fish maybe sometime the other fish we cannot eat like a star fish like the crab or all these thing they can become here they can stuck inside this one so in this way whenever you are talking about the troll nets it has these two disadvantages you can say or you can say the limitation number one unwanted species come inside number two it damage the sea bed during the use so these are two drawbacks you can say drawbacks you can say this advantage okay and you can say problems these are the three things these two problem disadvantages or drawbacks occurs when you are using the troll net and what is the you can say benefit or i can say advantages what is advantages it will catch a large amount of fish instead you will use the small net if you are using this type of net it catch a large amount of fish that can be a disadvantage okay then you can separate them because if you have different type of the fish you can separate them and normally it is uh, used when the people are going like a, in a big ship inside the sea for weeks they are using this type of this one and after catching the fish they are separating the fish according to different types and inside the ship they have different containers and they are keeping them there so mainly in ig igcsc when you are talking about only you should know its diagram how it looks like number 2 that what are the advantages and disadvantages that is the main thing you want okay and this is a real diagram of this one after that you have drift net the drift net now in this drift net you can see here it is from the for example here it is near the surface of the sea now it has like a pulley here this pulley has the ropes and when it is like this slowly slowly they lower it down and see here they it's lowered down it has a weight here this kind of like a weight and this weight keep it straight and at the same place one weight on this side also and they are the ropes here like this and the ropes are going down and when it is reaches why they are sending it down because at the surface you will not find much fish the fish population is less here as you go little bit deeper you will find more fish there so that they are lowering it down and sometimes they using these flags at the surface of the water these are the indication there there some kind of activity like fishing is going on under this one so that if any kind of other big boat or the ship want to come here they should change their direction so that is the main purpose of putting these warning signs so this is the known as drift net and sometimes like this also okay the fish they come and it structures like this they catch and from where they catch from the gills from their gill you know that fish has a gill from it take breath when they will reach there their gill will struck with them their gills will struck with them inside the mesh you were using a word mesh we use it again for example this is the net i am drawing a net for you let's say this is a net so the size of this box is known as mesh once again this one this size how bigger this 
size this box is or sometime if the net is in this way in this way for example this one this is the mesh we will discuss this one also so this is also known as drift also known as drift net and also sometime also known as drift gill gills net why because the fish they are stuck inside it due to its gills so that is the main you can say idea behind how they are catching the fish by using this one is it clear everyone yes halafulla lean meral is clear how they catch the fish uh, yes. by okay yes thank you sorry yeah. say again can you repeat again okay no problem i'm saying that they are using this type of uh, net when they are they want to catch the fish from their gills and it is quite simple they will just lower this down inside the sea as you can see here it goes down so whenever any fish is coming from this side it will hit by this one or fish by itself it come and just want to play with it whenever it want to play with it the gills of the fish they stuck with these net wires and they are stuck there and they will keep it maybe after for four hours two hours after that they will you can say pull it towards the ship and then they will all the fish will go with the net towards the fish is it clear now can we move forward yes okay yes thank you after that we have the seine net seine net also known as including the purse seine you can see here now it is quite interesting and if you see this one how they use it now for example it little bit you can say like a drift cell the sorry drift net what they are doing for example this is the ship let's say i will draw here this is a ship here they take out this net in this way this is for example the net then they have a small boat here here they have big ship and here the small no boat what they will do now this boat will take this net and move like this make a circle like this you can see here this is a ship it's going and this one it is taking the small boat it is coming from here all the way and making it like this and they trap the fish in here Yeah. they trap the fish inside here when the ship is trapped sorry the sorry the trap the fish are trapped inside here so it means that they close it from this side like this and all then they will pull it so that is the seam net okay after that you have bridge net dredge net now this dredge net it is like a combination of like different uh, you can say the nets you can see in the diagram here see this one they are combination of different nets you can see here one here one here one here one here all of them they attach a big rod you can see this one and it has like a wheel structure and all they are attached with one rope here so when you pull it when you pull it so they move along the sea bed all of them when they move along the sea bed so what happens all the fish will come inside and stuck inside them so that is known as bridge 
for some time this process is known as bridging so this is bridge net again drag along the seabed drag me you will pull something by dragging along the seabed mainly to catch shellfish and other type of fish living in the mud this type of fish is used uh, so this type of net is used when they want to catch the special type of fish and other organisms which are living in the mud or living very close to the surface of the sea here you can see here so they are using it when they want to catch special type of fish like they, the, they mentioned the shellfish and which are living inside the mud because it will drag it will take the mud also with it and then those type of fish they are come and stuck inside this one. so it is used when you want to catch special type of fish which are you can say live in the sea bed or in the mud so that is known as drag net is it clear alafullah uh, ah yeah. okay okay now you know that whenever we are going to buy the fish so you will find there are three type of fish whenever you go to the market so first type you can say it is come from sea or you can say from ocean number 2 come from the river number 3 in the form form means people they made the ponds on their land and they have the water say they bought the small you can say the fish they put it here and they give them feed and slowly slowly the fish size increases and they catch it from here and sell in the market so these are three types of the fish the we have sea fish that is done by nature and the fish they are reproducing themselves in the river also done by themselves and and after that uh, you can say that farming one this one is man handle handle by man means the people are doing this one it is up to them if they will bring the new fish the smaller size then they can get the big size after some time if they will not put anything in the form they will not get any so this is the main difference between these three categories so when they use the word farming farming marine species that is also known as mary culture mary culture now it is it should be very important because you know that every day with the passage of every day human population is increasing and when the human population increasing there is more demand for the fish people need more fish because population of the people is increasing so in the same way the ocean and the seas and the river capacity may be not that much so the people should make the form of the fish and they can you can say grow the fish in the form and then they can meet the demand of today otherwise if they will not do it like this so then one day will come according to the population the fish from the sea from the river and the ocean its number will decrease a lot and maybe one time will come they will disappear because you are not only the you can say uh, consumer for the fish there are other sea animal which are living inside the sea like big shark and whale they are also eating the small fishes so that is the thing in two words are using fish and sometime you are using the word fishes both are correct fish is singular also plural 
if you talk about the singular of fish is fish and plural is also fish but if the words come fishes it means different species different types of the fish together so no need to confuse about this one okay and the study of the fish and uh, how they you can say move from one to a place how they grow it is known as fisheries exploitation means that you will misuse means you are taking the more fishes from the sea but you are not replacing them in some countries maybe you saw that they are growing the small fish and they are putting again in the rivers so then the fish they can regrow and the people can get the fish according to their needs so this one you can say farming marine species reduce the exploitation of the fisheries if you will start farming the fishes or fish at that time means the fish number of you can say fish or population of fish will not be reduced whenever they talking about farming the marine species so that is divided into two categories number one aquaculture other two is mariculture mari comes from mari mari means sea life when they talking about sea they use them whenever you grow the fish in a fresh water that is known as aquaculture fresh water the rivers also fresh water your lakes also fresh water the underground water also fresh water all these are fresh water but when talking about mariculture it mean that mari mean when they are talking about the closed sections closed section means that whenever it can be a ocean it can be a tank in can pond with the sea water and which water is used there sea water not the fresh water you know for example if i discuss this is the sea this is big sometime near the sea you will find the small collection of water water comes from the sea and collected here but they are separated from each other when the tides are high the water will come and fill them and then water will go back now they have the water inside sometime they bring the fish here also and you can find the fish here they are not too small they are large but as compared to the sea size they are small sometime the people who are living nearby they use these ponds to put the fish they grow the fish here so that is known as mari culture but when the fish is grown in a fresh water that is no aquaculture so you should know the difference between them aquaculture again when you grow or you when form a fish in a fresh water like river water like lake water like underground water you are taking it out when you are talking about mariculture it mean that farming the fish growing the fish in sea water for that purpose you can use ocean you can use the tanks take the water from the sea and put in the tank take the water from the sea put in a pond like this okay so this is the main difference between them the aquaculture and the mariculture now we are saying that the everyone has advantage and disadvantage for example number 1 they are saying that it reduces the pressure on wild population allowing their population to increase so whenever you are doing the farming whatever it is aquaculture or it is mariculture again i am telling you both are used like a farming means people are using fresh water and sea water to grow the fish what is the benefit of this one if you are doing like this it means that you are helping the population of the fish and even the world population means people increasing still you have a large quantity of fish available for everyone the production is constant yes for example here if you are using the farming so you are getting 
continuous production from the farms no by catch for example if you have a your pond here you are farming the fish let's say i'm giving the example you brought i think there is two fish they are common in saudi arabia one is hamur other is shaur if i'm not wrong okay and they have maybe different name in other countries so if i will bring the small babies of hamur i will put inside this pond and i will wait for it i will wait for it maybe like one month and after one month if when i will come to catch the fish if i put hamur i will get hamur it doesn't mean that i will get the starfish i will get the shahur i will get the you can say jellyfish no whatever you put in the pond you will get that one so it mean no need for by catch remember if you forget by catch what do you mean by catch by catch man means you put a net you need only let's say jellyfish you put net inside this one to catch the jellyfish but when you put the net and you pull it out you found jellyfish you also found starfish you also found shellfish these two you don't need but they are coming so what you will do you will take the starfish and shellfish and throw it again in the sea and you will keep only jellyfish this is known as by catch means you are separating what you need and you are throwing back in the sea what you don't need but when you are doing the farming like this you should not do this process because here only one type of the thing which you put already here is it clear please tell me yes good okay now after that here you will not find no erosion of the sea bed okay whatever because you are using the using the trawl net and all this one but here you will not use that big one because that's a small area and you can use the other nets for that and that can be easier so it is up to you that uh, in the exam if it comes like this that write the advantages of the farming okay so you can write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 you can write any 2 3 depending on the marks if there is three marks question so you will write any three from them and if they ask the difference between aquaculture and mariculture so you can write their definitions and with examples so this is the how they can ask the question today inshallah we will practice the question at the end and you will know how the question will come after that they are saying the strategies for managing the harvesting of marine species species now you know that before the people are using the small boats if they want to go to for fishing they are using the small boat that these boats they cannot go much farther in the sea they remain near the coastal areas okay but with the passage of time when the big ship came when the ferry came like crews and all these things came so the it makes the easier for the people even go inside the sea more farther more farther understand when they went there so what they are doing they start fishing more and more and if you see that if you want start to use something more and more its population decreases now they are saying that what they should do to control this one they will make a system that you will take a you can say fix amount of fish whatever you need okay you will not take the extra for that there are different you can say agreements signed by un by different countries and like this one so then they the famous one they make a convention and that convention they made a law and that's known as economic exclusion zone okay they make this law okay 
according to this one what they said that every country with coastal line has a zone of 200 nautical mile nautical mile is used in the sea like we are on the land we are using kilometers meters mile but when they are talking about the sea they are using nautical mile they said that for example you have sudan here let's say or you any country so you can go 200 nautical mile in all sides every country has this much of freedom it this land belong to this country this sea you cannot go to the sea which is more than 200 nautical mile from your country so by this way they whatever the country need the fish he has to manage it from this area so that is the law they made what is that economic exclusive exclusion zone so that every country has a zone around its sea where it can catch the fish in other beyond that it cannot go now after that this is one of the examples you can manage other net types and the mesh size i told you mesh for example this is the net okay this size mean the size of this one okay it is known as mesh and the size known as mesh size when i'm talking about this one so you can you can say control the overfishing by using this one how if the mesh size is too small if this is too small it will catch even the small fish small fish very small even we cannot eat but it's come out and they will die if your mesh size is big and small fish can pass through it so the small fish will not come in the net only the big fish will come which is eatable for you that is good understand so like this they are saying that if the mesh size is too small given nile fish will be caught and reduce the number of the fish that grow maturity mean if the size is too small it will catch even the all small fish and they will not grow and when they come out you will not eat them because they are too small and you are throw them so this is the one of the you can say method you can reduce it after that diamond shape mesh this side sometime they have diamond type structure like this they have special structure the mesh size this one so more fish more easily they catch fish more easily okay so so it mean that instead of using this one if you use the square one like this it will catch less it catch more so you should make this obligatory compulsory for the farmer or fisherman they will use this one not this one because by this way they will catch the less fish and the fish can have a time to regrow but if you use this one they can catch more fish so like this type of rules they can introduce okay now we'll see another method for example the other methods of fishing now many fish species naturally congregate near objects floating in the sea so whenever they are talking about there are they are saying there are lot of the different type of the fish which are you can say find where they are you can say uh, near objects they are taking you can say they uh, have as a habitat their habitat is with the nearby objects their nearby objects when they are doing this one at that time they needs they are floating near that one and sometime you will find maybe in the national geographic that like this they have like a rock and inside the rock they have a small hole and you will find the thousand of the fish they all they gathered here okay all the gathered here so like this they are coming at one place okay so whenever 
you can say you are doing this one so what will happen it will help you to catch the fish instead you will search for them everywhere you can put special type of objects inside the sea all the fish will come here and from here you can catch them so this is another method how to catch a fish okay so the meaning of this word congregate means you put a object and all the fish will come to that object and then lot of fish come here you catch them easily so this is the meaning of this one and this is one of the method you okay now i am recording this one so if even you miss something so you can see the recording so we want to start now okay now they are saying that as we said now you are using different objects and the fish near come that one and you can catch them easily this is one of the method sometime the fisher fishermen they are using a uh, aggregation device okay and these devices are used to catch like tuna fish reason and this one the tuna fish the small one so that one you they are using different devices okay that can also be used to catch the fish include the usage of log suspended below the surface of the sea so they are putting a log log mean you know the log log comes like a big piece of wood they put under the sea and the tuna fish come near to that one and they catch it so this is another method to catch the fish easily after that this they attract the tuna fish with the other species including the tuna predators and once a good aggregation when you find that lot of fish came near to you then you will take it out with by using a net all together with the log and everything you take it out so this is another way how you can catch the fish once again there are different method of the to catch the fish so different method means in this you are also using the net but you you will not go to search for the fish to a large area you will get to a small area what is the first one that you will put some objects inside the sea they are half up half down inside the sea the fish will come near to them nearby then you throw a net on them and you can catch them this is a one method numbered method that they are using different devices and they what the devices will do they will produce different kind of kind of waves the fish will come near to them and you will you'll find there a lot of fish near this area and then they can use the net on this area they can catch the fish so these are different methods which are used to catch the fish but in all you are using the net but by using these methods you will not go for a different areas one by one to search for the fish all the fish will come to one area together so that is another method okay now after that they are saying if you are talk want to find like a uh, if you are catching the tuna fish in that they are saying that this will take all the other species as younger tuna fish with leading to a large by catch so now it mean that if you are using the method if you want to catch the tuna fish and what you will do at the end maybe you will find lot of tuna fish even the smaller one again you have to do by catch means what you need you have to keep and what you don't need you have to throw so instead of this one they're saying that this method is used if you want to catch tuna fish so they are saying that use poles and line method for catching the tuna 
done right, this method is highly selective with very little or no bycatch. If you are using this method, so what will happen? The only that, for example, you are moving like this. So only the big fish, they will remain in the net and other, they will go like this. They go out of this from here. So like this method you are using when you are catching the tuna fish and lot of other species are coming. And then after that, you have to separate them. So that's known as bycatch, so this one. So I'm using this example. After that, what is bycatch? Again, I told you. For example, the fisherman, he want to catch, you can say, and discard animals they don't want. Catch means they will keep it with them, discard, they just like a throw, throw them back in the sea. So that is known as bycatch, okay? This one, you can go through this one, it's the same. So what you are doing, all this, what we are doing, we are introducing different methods by which you can stop overfishing or different methods by can you reduce the exploitation of fisheries. After that, they're saying the quotas. Quota means special permissions. Okay. For example, I'll give the example. Let's say this is a market. In the market, you have, let's say, 10 watermelon. I'm giving the example. Now, let's say Khalafullah, he wants to take, if Khalafullah, Khalafullah will come, will take all, then no other one can take because whatever the available, then Khalafullah will, you can say, take all and then nobody can take it. I will take, I will tell Khalafullah, Khalafullah, you will take only two. I fix the amount for Khalafullah. So that is Khalafullah quota. What is the Khalafullah quota? Two. He can take only two. This is one method. Other method that every day the watermelon is coming into the market. I will take Khalafullah. You will come on Sunday only. You will come Sunday only and buy whatever you want. On other days, you will not come. And I will give other days to other people like lean, Meral, Besam. I can, they can, one can come Monday and one come, because every day they're coming. By this way, everybody will get the watermelon. Okay. And every day they can get watermelon. So this is known as quota. You will fix the amount for someone that you can catch only uh, on this day, or you can catch only like 100 kg. You cannot catch more than that. So that's known as quota. So now this saying the government should make a rules. So they should have a quota for everyone. They can say that, for example, I give an example. Khalafullah, please don't mind. I'm just using your name. Okay. Khalafullah said okay, they, Khalafullah, Khalafullah can catch only starfish. He cannot catch any other type of the fish. This is also for his quota. Let's say I'm saying lean. Lean can take catch only jellyfish. So it means that lean will only limit it to this one. So that is the quota for lean. In the same way, I can say Khalafullah can do the fishing only on Sunday. Lean can do on Monday. Mesam can do on Thursday. Ola can do on Friday, like this. When you fix the days or the quantity for the people, so this is known as quota. So if the government should introduce this method that this fisherman can go to this day, this people can to this day, and he can catch only 100 kg, he can catch only 1000 kg. So by this way, they can manage the fish population. So that is known as quota. This is one of the method, how you can manage the fish. After that, the close seasons. Close season that there is a season in which the fish, fisheries, there is a breeding season. 
breeding season mean they are laying eggs okay or they are giving birth or they are taking care of their you can say small kids or the small kids are the small baby fish are there so at that time the government should stop the fishing there no one should go and do the fishing otherwise they will take the mothers or then the eggs will be destroyed or they the small they will take the small fish and cannot grow like this that's known as close season so they can say that september october november let's say no fishing understand it means these days no fishing so this is one of the methods you can stop it after that protected areas and reserves some fisheries are protected by preventing fishing in certain areas often so often where the target species is known to breed sometime you know that that this area it is you can say fix for breeding lot of fish come to this area and they lay egg there so what the government will do they will put the restriction here no fisherman can go to this area in special months of breeding let's say september october november december they cannot go in this area after that they can go because after breeding the fish will move from this area to other area so this is another method and another way to control the fishing after that international agreements different countries they can make different agreements this one one of them they have mentioned here okay that magnuson steve uh, stevens fishery conversation method and where it was in usa like this they are not specific about these laws you have to remember what was the law which was the country how they will ask the question inshallah when we do the question can practice but you should know the all these things that what are they economical exclusive zone we saw that when every country has 200 nautical mile that international agreement also monitoring mean that there should be a system that every country should monitor there should be the government boat or the ship inside the sea they can monitor that whatever the laws they make people are abiding the laws or not understand so the people are abiding those laws or not so this one the people should the government should monitor they should make like a patrol means to move around and they should that maybe there is a other uh, you can say people they don't have a license because fishing also need a license like a driving a car driving anything you need a license in the same way the countries they also issue the license for fishing for different companies they can go and do fishing and they should check their license they have the license or not so like this different methods are used by the government to check the you can say the laws they are followed or not okay now they are saying that but you know the seas are really big really large because of the sea vastness vastness means they are spread a lot is difficult to monitor fishery laws and agreements monitoring organization based in ports have more success so for that you know sometime the government will cannot do all this work so they will hire some companies and they will tell them okay you monitor you monitor this one and they pay for them so like this they should do this one so these are the methods are the ways by which the you can say you can manage the fishy fish freeze fish and all these things is there any issue in this one no okay no. so i have a quick review whatever we started so it will make the thing again easy for you okay so today we started with the types of the 
nets which, which are used for fishing. So first of all is the trawl net. This trawl net has this shape and according to this shape, you can see here it drags or you can say it is, as I can say, slide over the seabed and then catch the fish and sometimes it's damaged the seabed and sometimes the fish which you ever you don't need they come inside it so these are two disadvantages of trawl net and this is a real diagram of this one after that drift net and it also known as drift gill net you will put them here the fish will come and when they touch this one their gill will stuck in this and you can catch them so this is known as drift net or drift gill net these two names can be used the same thing and it is here after that seeing net it means that you will spread it from one side like this and there is a boat it will make a circle around like this and they trap the fish that's known as seeing net and it is like a curtain you're hanging like a curtain like this and you can catch it okay and uh, a variant called the surrounding net is often used and uh, what you can see here that is dredge net means it is like this one it you have to drag it over the seabed and it is used for the fish which live near the seabed or which are live in the mud here so you use this method okay after that you have the uh, farming the fish if you want to maintain the fish population, so you have to farm the fish also, okay? And there are two types of fishing, aquaculture and mariculture. Aquaculture means you will make the fishing in a fresh water like lake, like river, okay? Like underground water, you're taking it. Mariculture means you are growing the fish, farming the fish in a sea water, you are taking the water from the sea and you're putting in the tank and you can using this one okay what this farming what the farming will do farming will decrease the pressure on the sea that if for example you need the 100 kg fish every day so what will happen you can take 60 kg from sea 20 kg from river and other 20 kg you can take from the farmer. So like this, you can share the burden. Otherwise, before all 100 kg come from the sea. Okay. So if you will do the farming, you can reduce the pressure on the sea. And the number of the fish in the sea will remain maintained a constant. And here, what you can do that what are the strategies the government should do to maintain the fishing and the fish population will not decrease too much for that economical exclusive zone every country has 200 nautical miles around this country and it can fishing only in that area beyond that they cannot go the net size and the net mesh size also matters it should be a little bit bigger so the small fish they cannot catch only big fish will come inside. So better one is square instead of diamond. Diamond catch a lot, square catch less, so that's better. Other methods that they can use different devices. They can uh, suspend like a log, like a wood down. And when the lot of fish come near that one, so what they will do, they will throw the net and catch them. After that, if you are catching the tuna fish, you should use this method because this method will not catch the small tuna fish. It will catch only big tuna fish. After the bycatch, I told you when the fishermen are the people who are going to fishing, they are throwing the net in the sea. When they take out, for example, they want to catch only jellyfish, but the other fish also come with that. So what they will do, they will take the jellyfish and throw back all other fish. That's known as bycatch. Quotas, I told you, you can fix, you can set the fixed amount or you can say the fixed days or the season or the months for different people they can do for fishing. Close season, when there is a breeding, so there should be no fishing in that area. After that, international agreements, you have this one, again, economic zone, 200 nautical mile, we did monitor whenever you make a rule for fishing, 
So you should monitor this. Monitor means that you should go and check it, that people are following or not. For example, Khalafullah, I told Khalafullah come on Sunday only, but I found Khalafullah also on Monday. So it means Khalafullah is not obeying, obeying the law. I told, for example, Lean, you have to come only on Thursday, but I found Lean uh, also coming on different days. So it means you have to keep check on the people. Okay. They're saying effectiveness of the strategies whenever you are making any strategy. So only you can make it effective if the people will follow it. If the people will not follow it, you cannot make it successful. For that, if the country has resources, it can monitor by itself. Or if the country don't have resources, it can give that you can hire the other companies, they can monitor in place of the government. So, like this. So, these are the things. Is it clear to everyone? Any confusion? No. Okay. So let's start the questions then. Ready? Can you see this question? Yes. Okay, so who will solve it? Any volunteer? Anyone who will say, sir, I will try. No problem. If something wrong, I will help you. Don't worry. Yes. Anyone? Yes. So I have to choose then. Okay. Now we have Marel. Are you there? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So first of all, what is this Marel? Uh, food chain. No, food web. In chain, you oh. have one, one, like one here, one here, one here, one here, or like this, one here, then other like this. So when you have a lot mixed ice stone as food web. So this is the food web. And food web. you know that, for example, first of all, you have the phytoplankton, this one down one. It is eaten by krill and krill eaten by fish. This fish is eaten by bird, also by elephant seal, and also by leopard seal, and leopard seal by killer whale, like this. You understand how it goes? Yes. Yes. And I think in biology, you have this one, if I'm not wrong. OK. Now, very easy question. OK. Now, see here. They said, use the diagram. This above one, which is here, the use a diagram, the food web to complete the food chain. Now in the exam, they will give you only this one, these two blank, one, two, three. This one is blank. This one is blank. This one is blank. They will give only this one and you have to find the answer for this one. Okay. For example, okay. we have to see that baleen whale. Where is the baleen whale? First of all. Wait. Where is the baleen whale? Uh, on the left. This one. Yes. Yes. So you have to complete a food chain in which baleen whale comes at number three. Understand? This food yes. chain always starts from phytoplankton. And after that, you have the krill. These two are compulsory. After this, then you will start the other things. The two main are two basic ones, these down two. Understand? For example, this is first one. It is eaten by 
the krill. So it means first phyto, plateau, and then you have a krill. After that, baleen. So it means which you have to follow like this. Understand? You cannot go by this way. You, there is another way to go. What is that? Just check this, this, this. Can I go this way? One, two, three, four. Can I go by this way? No, because they already said that third place is for baleen way. So you have to choose a chain in which this comes at number three. So that is one, one, two, and three. And after that, what you have? Killer way, this one. Easy or difficult? Easy. Okay. Now, uh, yes, uh, Mariel, now tell me this one. Name the producer in the food web. Who is the producer here? Who is only producer? Uh, phytoplankton. Very good. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Now, okay, now they're saying that determine the largest number of tropic feeding levels in this food web. How many level means you can divide in category means? How many, for example, see now, I will give example to you. If I will write this one, for example, this one, I can write first down phytoplankton, number one. Above this one, you have krill. After that, you have blame whale. After this, you have killer whale. So how many levels they are? One. Uh two, three, four. Now this is for this, but this one total have how many? As a total, maximum, how many it has? Check now. This is one. This is two. Now you go by which way? If you go by this way, let's say this way, three. Four, last five. If you go by this way, one, two, three, four, five. If you go by this way, one, two, three, Oh. Understand what I mean? Yes. So where you can find maximum? Mm. Okay, I, I will go by this way. Just help me. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Understand or not? Yes. So like this, you can check. So maximum level I found there are six. Now tell me one thing. This thing has to do anything with environmental. Only just they are playing with common sense now here. Okay. Now, other thing. Next question. Now they're saying that scientists have reported that the population of the krill is decreasing. This krill is decreasing. Okay. What happens if the, uh, what will happen if leopard seals if the population of the krill decrease, what will happen to the leopard seals? Is there, it will affect them or not? See here. Uh, its population yes. will increase. 
I'm saying that, for example, if krill is, see here, decreasing, if the now the population of krill is decreasing, understand? So this krill yes. is food for how many things? This krill is food for birds. This krill is food for fish, for penguin, for squid, and for leopard seal. If it is less, so leopard seal is affected or not? Yes, its population will decrease. Yes. Leopard seal will decline or decrease or die on my grade. Really good. Okay, okay. Okay, now, Lean, Lean, are you with me? Oh, yes. Okay, Lean. Lean, please check now. State four resources that ocean can provide. Remember when we start this chapter, we said that from ocean, what we can get. Remember? Oh, uh, yes. So, uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, fish, uh, mean, salt. Mean food. I'm talking about food. You can yes, get food. Yes. Okay. okay, food and salt. Salt mean chemical. Yes. Uh, yes, salt. Yes, okay. Okay, then. Uh, um, building materials. Building materials, good. And? Um, uh, like sand. Sand, okay, it come also building material. What other thing we are using C for? Uh, yes, uh, like wave energy and tidal energy. Very good. And one more. Main uh, thing. Tourism. Was, tourism and one more. Transport. Oh, yes, transport. Like in the ship. Very good. Okay. So here you can see like fish, then you oil, natural gas, building materials, sand, metals, transport, all these things you can use it. Understand? Yes. Okay. Now, next question. Suggest why most of the marine resources that people use are found on continental shelves. Remember, we discussed about uh, continental shelf. What is a continental shelf? Uh, it's a, uh, the place that is less than two meters deep. No, this is for example, shallow. Yes, this is shallow. Like if this is the sea level, so up to 200 meters, this, this 200 is meters known sea. as this one. All this one is known as continental shelf. Why uh, this is, this is a good place for fish and other things. Why? Because uh, here, what is the reason? Uh, there is more sunlight. The, sun, uh, the sunlight can penetrate it. Can penetrate it, good. More oxygen there. More And one more, more nutrients you will find there. Uh, yes. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. Accessible water, people can go to that water, sunlight, nutrients, oxygen, so all these things. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, now who is the next one? Mesam, you are with us? Yes. Okay, Mesam. Now, they are self telling that the diagram shows the trawler and its net, which net trawl net. Can you see the diagram? Yes. Okay. How does it works? What happens when you throw a trawl net in the sea? What happens? It catches the fishes. Okay. How it catches the fishes? Because where it moves, how it moves. I mean, when you catch it, it moves near the seabed. It moves near the yes. seabed. seabed. Okay, and it catch whatever near that one are available. Understand? Yes. Okay, so this is the question they are saying here. They are saying that describe how fish are caught by the trawler or the trawl net. Now you can write anyone trawl dragged along the sea floor, 
chain frame or these ropes they go down and fish is trapped and then they catch here understand yes okay they're saying describe how the trawling can damage the sea flow how it can damage what happens to the seabed uh uh it's because i told you seabed is a habitat for lot of organisms oh, oh, and also it fish. has yes uh, and also it is for the small rocks are there when you are using this net it will erode it will move them it will damage them what so maybe the, animal? the the organism the animals they will lost their habitat completely so this is thing yes heavy chain dug into the sea stuck and grow the sea floor sediment disturb destroy sea floor habitat sometime plants is disturbed like this understand yes what is meant by overfishing uh taking too much fish to the until it disappears no uh, overfish i told you that you are taking fish from the sea but you are not replacing them you are not farming the new ones that is known as overfishing and you are right that if you will not do this one one time the number of will decrease that's your part is right so here yes. more when more fish are caught than can be replaced by breeding so then it's known as overfishing and sure. as you said that fishing that is not sustainable means that it's not good sustainable means good for today and good for future also explain why overfishing has occurred in many world's ocean still it is happening it's not a good thing but in different world it's happening different parts what, what do you think can be the reason why people still doing this one what do you think maybe the government do not have government resources to want. stop it yes maybe they do not have resources to farming this one okay maybe that there is no laws for this one so there are different things you see human population increasing increasing the you can say the new techniques okay yes and big boats large fishes no regulation lack of regulation policies mean hukumat the government did not make any rules and leads one number of people are increasing they need more fish like this you can write any three because three marks any three okay overfishing can disturb the food web suggest yes. how yes for example give an example uh it means the po fish population will decrease for example yes. if maybe if you will remove the for example leopard seal that leopard seal is fish for some other so that yes. omnivore will die and if the leopard fish is eating let's say krill so there is no leopard fish the krill will be more in large maybe it will disturb the you can say the ecosystem so like this understand yes okay so after this okay this question by the graph i will send it to you it's already solved let's have a look on this one so we'll after this class we'll finish after one minute then i will start with all up the next question okay so ola are you with us yes okay can you see this question ola yes okay time is less if disconnected please join again <laughs> 